In this video, we're going to cover how to preview and publish content from your Prismic production repository. Basically, thanks to the preview and draft feature, we're going to streamline the publishing process, doing away with the need of having a staging environment, having to push it to a production environment. So this really is there to empower the content editors to control the publishing workflow and also to remove a lot of administrative work for developers. Let's illustrate this right now with a website that's running on Prismic. So we have this website here that sells fresh juices. And let's say that I want to modify the title up here at the top. I'm going to head to Prismic, go to my page, go to that title section right there, and make just a small modification. I'm going to save that. Now you'll notice as soon as I've made a change, I get this yellow version, which is my draft. I still see that I've got my live version running. So again, if anyone were to go to my website right now, they would still see this um, title. However, I want to preview this. So I'm going to click that preview here button up at the top. And you'll notice I've got a drop down where I've got two um, application code bases set up. Um, so I could either preview it with my production application, or if I was running an application locally on my computer, I could run that as well. So I'm first going to just do this with my production one. So right now, actually, my production application is fetching a, um, a preview token from the Prismic API in order to preview this specific draft. So again, anyone going on the website right now couldn't see this. I can only do this because I generated that, that preview from Prismic. So I can see here I've got my modification. I'm happy with it. Go back to Prismic, and I can just choose to publish it right there and then because I have the publishing rights, obviously. So this works well with one document, as we just saw. But say I want to have multiple documents and being able to have a group that goes live at the same time. That's doable thanks to Prismic's releases. So I've actually created a release already. Um, and it's to have a new carrot juice that we're announcing. So let's call this Welcome to Forrester. Uh, check out our new carrot juice. And I'm going to save that. And so instead of publishing right there and then, I'm actually going to publish it and choose to put it in a release, which is my new carrot juice release. Um, so now I get this purple color indicating that it's in that release. I'm actually going to go back. I go back to planned. And so then I see all the different releases that I've got set up in my repo. So I've got my team here working on different releases. And I've got my new carrot juice one. I click on that right there, kind of drill down. And I see that I've got my edit to my home page, which I just did. And I've got my new page that I've created before, which goes into more details about the carrot juice. So let's say that I actually want to preview all of this at the same time um, before publishing it. I click right there. And I see my home page. Happy with that. And I actually get to see that in this release, I've got two docs that will go live once I push it. And I've got my new juice. So that's the other page I created. So I got my carrot juice, cold pressed, looks good. Um, so I'm happy with that. So I go back to Prismic now. I go to this release for specifically for new carrot juice. You can then choose to either publish it right now, or since I'm only announcing this on Monday, I'll just click, click right there the date, click whatever time I want, schedule it. And now I know that my new carrot juice release will go live on Monday at midnight. So I get full control over how I choose to publish and when I choose to publish, thanks to the releases and the preview functionality in Prismic. Thanks for watching, and look forward to our future feature videos.